bring up your first comic she's so funny you know her from the we're having gay sex podcast <laughs> Good. I'm feeling good in my outfit, new clothes. I was feeling so good. And then I caught my reflection in a window and realized I am fully dressed like Winnie the Pooh. Uh, so I guess all I'm saying is gender euphoria is complicated. I, uh, I, was, I was working out earlier today. I was working out in the park by my house and this guy stopped me and he was like, great form, you power lifter. <laughs> and I said someone if they're power lifters, like saying, hey, are you an incredible athlete? And also a little bit fat. <laughs> and to be fair, I am a little bit fat. I know I'm a little bit fat because once a day I think someone's tapped me on the back, but really it's just my back fat kissing. So. <laughs> I didn't realize I was gaining weight for two months. I thought I was being haunted. <laughs> and I was by my decisions. <laughs> I like being fat. The only thing I don't like about being fat is I went from having small boobs to big jugs. <laughs> I never liked that term. I didn't understand it. But now I go running with two sports bras on. I feel like I got clay pots slapping me in the neck. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to get water for my township. <laughs> so this guy in the park asked if I was a power lifter and I was like, no, I'm actually a retired soccer player. And he goes, I knew it was something. Those stars tell a story. <laughs> I was like, well, this is taking a sexy turn, sir. <laughs> this is a story my thighs are telling and with them wrapped around your face. I can't flirt with men. <laughs> Turns out he was not flirting with me. He handed me his business card because he is a weight loss consultant. <laughs> Thank you, I was pissed off. I was like, pick a lane, dude. Are you harassing me or are you training me? Is the Me Too or Rocky Too? You know? <laughs> uh, men say strange things here in New York. I figured out the best way to react to a cat call is to repeat it. <laughs> Guy comes up to me, he's like, hey, I want to tap that ass. I'm like, I want to tap. He will stop. And it's so simple, it's a copycat game. We've been playing since we could talk. But our dads were like, stop it, it's rude and annoying. And we were like, stop it, it's rude and annoying. <laughs> Don't stop it, it's rude and effective. Guy comes up to me, he's like, hey, put your mouth on my dick. I'm like, you put your mouth on my dick. We couldn't have, we could have been misering our way out of it this whole time. <laughs> I did used to play soccer, uh, before as a comedian I played for the Puerto Rico Women's National League. A proper lesbian crowd. <laughs> More than a humble who, I got a prize. Uh, it was the honor of my life to play for that team, represent Puerto Rico, stand with my teammates, represent my family. Uh, but it took so much work to get there. Like my whole life leading up to my first match was all about soccer. Like I did nothing but train. I wore nothing but uniforms. I ate nothing but pussy. Soccer, soccer, soccer! <laughs> so much soccer! <laughs> I, uh, I am technically bisexual because I swallowed cum in high school. <laughs> Haven't we all, right? <laughs> I, uh, the most disgusting part of swallowing that boy's cum is that I was in love with him. <laughs> We've been there. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think it's funny that, that sexuality works like that, you know, because I was with one man that makes me bisexual. like. Nothing else is like that. Like, just because I've had one herpes doesn't mean I have herpes. <laughs> I'm concerned that you're not all laughing. <laughs> the American education system has failed some of you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, anyway, I do, I do, I do have herpes. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> someone asked, I've been with a woman for a long time, and someone asked me, could you ever go back to men? And uh, that's an interesting question, because the last time I was with a man, I was, I was very different. I had long hair, low cut shirt, tight jeans, high heels. And uh, now I look like this. <laughs> so like, I'll go back to men, but I'm not sure that they're coming back to me. <laughs> like if I go back to men, you know, whatever man I hook up with is getting this version of me, you know? <laughs> like I'd be giving hand jobs the way I give an oil change. <laughs> Just like, yeah, all set. <laughs> in two to four months. <laughs> Gotta get that gunk out. <laughs> Plus you're doing business. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm bisexual and I'm gender non-conforming. Or as my grandma says, gay either way. <laughs> Yes. You hurt, you hurt in your heart on that one. <laughs> Too much to laugh. I, um, I, I, people ask, okay, I'll tell you something. I told someone I was gender non-conforming, and they were like, oh, does that mean you wish you had a dick? And, uh, you shouldn't ask people that. But yes! I wish I had a dick. I think every time I jerked a guy, I was just trying to take what he had. <laughs> really yanked it. <laughs> This guy is so scared. <laughs> Don't worry. No, you guys, you're, you're great. You're a great sport. You guys are a great audience. So, uh, audience is not always so friendly when I talk about gender. I, uh, I was talking about gender once, and uh, this guy in the back goes, but you have a vagina, right? You have a vagina? You have a vagina? <laughs> it was like he was announcing a horse race. <laughs> was like, vagina, 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 coming out the outside. Vagina, vagina, forward, forward, pull it in. Vagina, what place to jump? Vagina! <laughs> And I panicked, so I was just like, yes. Uh, and then he said something, you know, pretty transphobic. He goes, then you're a fucking woman. And uh, we all know that that's dangerous, dangerous logic. That logic gets people hurt. But let's play with that logic for a second. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, I, I have a vagina, but I've also got like four penises. <laughs> I got a big one, a fancy one, a small one for school nights. <laughs> I lost one at an Airbnb. <laughs> How many pieces do you have, sir? Just the one? Are you even a man? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're truly a man until you've come home from vacation and realized your dick is still on vacation. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I went to the dick store the other day. <laughs> And I got myself a packer, which is like a realistic dick. And uh, I put this thing on, and let me just say, as a feminist, I'm strongly against dick pics. I think unsolicited dick pics should be considered a crime. To me, it's the same thing as being flashed on the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. However, <laughs> I had this thing on for like five minutes, and I was like, I mean, it's not gonna take a picture of itself. Uh, so I did, I took a picture, <laughs> but I didn't send it to anyone, and uh, that's how I figured out that I'm not a man. Uh, one thing I've been doing uh, to experiment with gender is performing as an amateur drag king. Uh, and, and, you know, drag is interesting because I... <laughs> I'm, I'm dumb, so I didn't realize that in order to do drag, I would have to go from having zero makeup to every makeup. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, time to butch up. All I gotta do is learn how to contour. <laughs> like, who knew the first step to becoming a man is crying in a Sephora? <laughs> Can you make me a real boy, Sophia? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, uh... Still in that questioning phase uh, where I don't I don't know what I am, and sometimes uh, I, I I feel myself having these thoughts where I just hope that I'm a cis woman, and uh, this was all just a phase because uh, my life would be easier. And uh, other times I find myself hoping that I'm a man, that I, that I'm a trans man, so I could go up 
to every dude I ever hooked up with and be like, you're a fucking faggot. <laughs> Remember when you made me give you that hand job on a bridge? <laughs> That's some faggot ass shit, man. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, I'm not mentally well. My therapist told me I'm not supposed to drink past 6 p.m. anymore, so now I start at noon. I'm worried about you! Uh, my, I was going to therapy for the first time in my life, and, uh, then, well, well, hold on because my therapist ghosted me. Oh! Yeah, I know, right? And to make matters worse, it was right after I told her I was thinking about eh, eh, yeah. <laughs> now you're worried for me. <laughs> I, it, it, you know, I, 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 I know it's a, it's a, it's a tough subject. Uh, you know, uh, your therapist ghosting you, it cuts deep, you know? <laughs> It's a, it's a tough pill to swallow, if you know what I mean. <laughs> she really left me hanging. You know? <laughs> I can tell you guys are uncomfortable. <laughs> I'll back off the edge of a tall building. <laughs> no, for real, I know, I know the subject of suicide uh, is super loaded. Like my gun! <laughs> it's okay, I want this joke to bomb, because then I might die in the blast! <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, so my therapist ghosted me, and, and it made me really angry, and, and it made me want to do it more, you know? Like, just to spite her, have that on her conscience, you know? <laughs> like, bitch, you can ghost me, but I will haunt you! Anyway, I'm safe now, I'm on Prozac, uh, and I have so much diarrhea. 